Hey guys, Stars here. Quick disclaimer before the video starts. If you're interested in any of the pets I've shown off in this video, please be aware of the fakes circulating the internet, especially with the main five pets. Those being Great Danes, Dachshunds, Collies, Short-Haired Cats, and Cocker Spaniels. A lot of the times you can tell if they're fake or not, but make sure you also read the description and look for words like aftermarket meaning that those are fake. Without further ado, let the video begin. Konnichiwa, it's Stars here, and I'm trying to get myself back into the groove of recording after not having recorded anything since April, um, which, by the way, before I introduce what this video is, uh, that video is like really delayed because I'm having some technical problems as usual. Uh, I have no way to connect my camera to my new computer because it's all USB-C so I have to like buy another adapter and it's just it's this whole thing. So um, today I thought I would do a little collection video showing you guys uh, my LPS. Not all of them all at once because we would be here forever. But uh, today I will just show all of my cats because I am super excited for the relaunch of Lilith's Pet Shop coming back next year. And there is a Roblox game and yes, you guys will definitely get gameplay on the Roblox game because I figured out how to do it. Isn't that great? So we will start with the cats and then next episode we will do the other critters so without further ado let's get started okay just so you guys know these are in no particular order um so yeah let's get started first cat we have is this angora kitty she's got a little bit of uh blemishes on her face of course she has her red magnet and stuff i really like the colors on this one I like the the um, powdered sugar face. I think that is super cute. We have another Angora cat up next. I love the airbrushing on its like face, the light pink, and there's some light pink there as well. Of course, all these pets are going to be dirty. Oh, and have elastic. Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice that. <gasps> Ew. I want to free you from it. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so old and brittle. It just... She's free! Hooray! <laughs> yeah, so she's super cute. And now she's free from this nasty, nasty last. Up, we have another Angora, but this one is actually from McDonald's when they used to have the... McDonald's Happy Meals. I remember I would just like constantly beg to go to McDonald's so I could just get these, like collect all of them because I wanted all of them. And they did come with uh, stands, but I couldn't stand the stands. So I removed them. But she's super cute. We have a, another Angora cat, but she's a different mold. She has her her paws her paw down so yeah i like her face i think this is like sticker eyes instead of it being painted i'm learning all like this new terminology i have been like watching lps honey like non-stop <laughs> so yeah there's a little lps logo and i like the colors on this one too i like this palish yellow with the darker kind of like goldeny dark spicy mustard color <laughs> could we call it spicy mustard now we're moving on to what i now know is considered a main five um basically main five pets are the top five most popular molds so that includes short hair cats great danes dachshunds collies and cocker spaniels so we have this black cat i think she came with this mark on her face. I remember I got her from TJ Maxx 
and she was like a Halloween one and she came with like a little pumpkin basket, which I no longer have. No idea where it went. So yeah, she has a hole at the bottom. I really like uh, the blue eyes on this one. It really uh, stands out. Hey guys, um, editing stars here. I just realized that that cat has a twin and it looks like this. The only difference is where the white spots are and the uh, eye color. I thought that was really interesting. Next is this one. This one came in a set with uh, a dachshund that I do have. Um, she did not come with the bow. I just decided to put that on her. But there she is. Of course, all my pets are going to be dirty because I played with these like non-stop. Ooh, yuck, dirty. But yeah, I love the stars in her eyes, obviously. Um, but yeah, I really like the stripes and like this ear is a darker purple to match these stripes along with uh, her little toes, her little toe beans. We have this cat. Now this cat I think is really unique because the uh this part here which is usually white on other pets like this one for example you can't even really see the white but like the this small little white dot this one is actually pink and i think that is so cute and unique but there you go there's the paws another one with the bow on its head this one is super cute. I love the um, half white, half gray. And then again, with the white on the tips of its tail, this one has a weird pink mark around its neck. That's weird. And it has a like, little blush and I love the brown. The brown is super cute. 2004. We have uh, these next few cats are what I call the um, orange juice triplets. So we have this one with the stripe green eyes. I really like this one. This one is super cute. I like how the stripe goes down its back too. Like it starts from its back and then it ends here. Well, it kind of ends here. But next orange juice triplet is this one. Who I actually named Orange because she looks like orange juice. So Again, this one has like one stripe and then it has this little flower detail around its eye, which is so pretty. And again, with the different colored ears, I love that. I think that is so stinking cute. Next, and the final orange juice triplet is this one. Um, if I can remember correctly, I think that the ones with stars in their eyes, like not stars, teardrops are sportiest pets. I think so. This one has a unique design going on with its um, fur, if you you would say, because it has like these little zigzag lines and it's that way for both. And then it has it here going down its belly and then stripes on the back, the same color for the end of the tail. Okay, this next one, I think a majority of you should know. But if not, I will tell you. Ta-da! So if you don't know who this pet is, this is Brooke or Brooklyn Hayes from very popular uh -huh, LPS popular TV show. Um, I do recommend watching it, but I do not recommend it for uh, minor audiences because I do remember it did get like bloody, like. A little pet shop show bloody like it it was phenomenal but anyway here's the mean queen herself miss brooke i really like the um airbrushing here on the ears i think that is super stinking cute and yes she is authentic i know that these short hair cats uh the aftermarket which is you know like the fake pets these short hair cats like they get copied so much because they're part of the main five and sometimes it's really hard to tell whether pets or not pets are authentic or not because the face have been getting so good that you can't tell uh next it was the siamese this siamese came from 
like that small window of hope we had when they released like the mommy and baby sets during that dark age that was little spread shop this one has a painted on collar which i never really noticed <laughs> until now that actually looking at it so yeah what year was this 2006 what it looks like one of those dark age pets she has a heart shaped uh face here i never noticed that either i think that's super cute she's a really really cute cat oh no don't fall okay next we have another familiar if you watched lps popular this was um brooklyn's mom unfortunately my hmm, my little dog got a hold of this and chewed her ear so that's sad. I was thinking about maybe like sculpting the tip of it and trying to fix it. But then I realized that like this side has glitter on it and I just, I don't deal with glitter. She also has glitter here and this wavy design, kind of like this one, but it's a bit bigger. So this one is also a very familiar one if you, you know, watch. Uh, LPS tube. This is LPS Hannah's um, mascot, um, Destiny. This one was actually one of my first Lilith Pet Shops. This set with this cat and the pug. So, yeah. I love the eyes on this one. It's like so like unique. It was like so unique compared to this one because one eye is bigger than the other and she's like looking sideways. So I think that is super, super duper cute. Right. Next, continuing on with, ah, continuing on with the um, prowling molds, but in the community, they're kind of known as destiny cats because of, you know, destiny from LPS Hannah. But the official mold name is Pounce. Prowling, not pouncing, prowling. So we have this girl. I love the hair. Unfortunately, I think I was trying to clean her and I used something a little too strong and it like messed up her hair. So I'm a little upset about that, but I do love the red and the white together. I think that is super duper cute. Her nose is missing a little bit of paint, but that's okay. And I love the light pink and her paw is disappearing, but that's okay. All right, now we're moving on to um, the paw lick cats. I only have two. I used to have three, but I think I traded one of them away. I don't remember. So we have this one. This one was part of my um, original childhood collection. I mean, all of these were, but this was like part of that initial start. So she's super cute. I don't remember what set she came with, maybe it was the mall um if i find any information i will put it on screen but for right now i have no idea of course she's dirty Ooh, she's dirty because i like to party hard with my pets this one i love these colors they remind me of coffee she's like a, a coffee cat almost and I'm sorry these are really dirty. I just took them out the basement like a few days ago and spent like those few days trying to clean them the best I could. Next up, we have the um, crouching molds and I have custom. So I'm gonna show it for this first. I made these customs when I was little. So I'm sorry, they're not the best. And they're a little edgy and weird because I was edgy and weird when I was small. Weren't we all at one point? <laughs> so you can tell it's like, old. Oh, I didn't do a good job because the paint is like falling off. And this is a fake, by the way. Uh, I might just, you know, I might keep this one because I might do more customs in the future. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking I might. Um, so this can be like uh, my first custom versus like my most recent custom. So it'd be like a cute, way to kind of 
show my, my progression in a way. So I'm gonna put you there. All right, now for the official Crouching Cats. See, this was part of the mommy and baby set that I was talking about. What year was this? Do you not have a year? Are you not branded by year? Oh no. But yeah, this one was also part of the mommy and baby set. I think I got all of the mommy and baby sets. I, I don't think so, I don't remember. But I love, I love this one. This one is my favorite crouching cat that I have. Mainly because of the eyebrows. <laughs> I think eyebrows on pets is just like the funniest, cutest thing ever. I love her bright red nose. And these little designs here, I love the black and white. They did such a good job with this. Next crouching cat is this um, coffee looking one again. And I know she's super dirty. Uh, she's super cute. It has the two different colored ears. Don't remember what set this was from. Most of these um, I got from like flea markets, but some of them I do remember actually like getting the sets for. I know these two I bought from my friend who was having a yard sale and was selling her LPS. I wonder if she has any more. If she has more, I'll take them. Next crouching cat, this one's super cute too. It's so pastel and I love the yellow and the darker color. And the green really just makes it like pop. I think that is so adorable. All right, next we have, I have no idea what these molds are called. Um, not quite kitten maybe they're called bonbon cats i think so so we have this one so funny story about this one i don't know if you could tell but there's like weird streaks and lines and look at that ew so this was a flocked cat this one had fuzzy stuff all over its face and i hated the texture of it mainly because well, uh, aside from my sensory issues with the yucky fuzzy stuff, it was old and it was like, it didn't feel good to begin with. So I was like, you know what? I'm taking it off. So that's what I did. And now it just looks gross. <laughs> we have is this cutie. She is super cute. I think I actually have another Bon Bon Cat. Like I have one on my wish list. And yeah, I did make a wish list. It's been we reawoken the obsession has awoken all over again so she's super cute i love the you know the sideways eyes so here she is very plain very simple but yet very cute all right and now onto the ones that i don't have that many of so i only have one kitten i did have another one but i think i traded that one away this one kind of looks like the the baby version of, of this one to me i think maybe even this one i think this is the old lady stage personally <laughs> she's super cute i love how the pink kind of goes down to her face yeah there's not much to say about that one she's so cute and small and the last one we have is this tiger tiger is part of the cat family okay comments i hear you i hear you it's part of the cat family comments calm down so yeah, this one was also part of the mommy and baby set, I believe. And um, for the information, no, they don't have their babies. Their babies are gone. I don't know where their babies went. I'm sorry, but I love the purple. That is so cool. So yeah. All right, guys. So that was all of my Lilo's Pet Shop cats. Uh, I will see you next episode where we will look at the other creatures I have. Um, I do have dogs and I have like dogs, other creatures and cats. Like that's mainly what my collection is. Oh, there's a real dog. Selena, say hi to the people. No, okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which cat in my collection is your favorite? Which one would you steal from me if you if you saw my box in real life? Let me know if you're excited for basic fun to essentially bring back childhood and bring childhood to this newer generation of kids. Like this is so exciting. Like 
you guys are not going to be ready for the influx and like wave of videos that's going to surge because these cuties are back oh, in their marketable form. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay kawaii.